Welcome back to Beyond Bourbon. It's good. Still get used to the name. Yeah, that, I still, I was like, gonna say the wrong one. I think of one of the videos, I forgot to edit the name again. <laughs> Whatever. But I'm Ben. I'm Jared. Uh, today we have another review, and this is a bottle that we've not seen much about. Um, there was a lot of hype around the bourbon, and especially the weeded bourbon, mm. in the last couple months. Uh, now it's greener for single barrel. So I saw on Instagram uh, a couple months ago that they were releasing this, and so I got really excited about it, and I hadn't seen it anywhere. Walked into a liquor barn on Wednesday, and they had three or four different picks up there. So I don't know, we're both really excited for this one. I haven't had any other Green River products, actually. But I've only had a, a small sip of the weeded, small not even the normal bourbon. Uh, I know a lot of people want them to come out with the weeded foolproof. Yeah. Not even the, not a single barrel, but this is foolproof, um, 119 proof, there are, I mean, this is a pretty good budget too, I would say. Um, it smells really good, actually. When you sent me the price for that, how much did you pay for it? 63? Yeah, I think like 63 plus tax. Yeah, like in the 60s, 70s. Yeah. Great price for a single barrel foolproof product. Absolutely. You either usually get a foolproof product or a single barrel product. And I think, because I know they released their bourbon, I guess a couple of years ago, and people weren't very happy with it. They rebatched it, reblended it, and now people are much bigger fans. I'm glad. It's, I'm glad they didn't give up. I'm glad they kept with it and they made a product that people are starting to enjoy. Yeah. That smells really good. There's some dark flavors to it. Yeah. You can tell it's got fruit. Almost some licorice, I think, that comes through, like the black licorice. Um, I get that, for sure. Or, um, what's the uh, what's the other brand? Twizzler. Twizzler. Yeah. I get that, for sure. Um, it doesn't smell super sweet. Yeah, much savory. I, you, wait, are you saying it is super sweet? No, it's oh, not. Oh, yeah, not so. I agree, yeah. Nice. It's like a chocolate chip pancake kind of thing. You know the boozy cupcakes people make? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that smells like that, like when they try to make it overwhelmingly smell like alcohol. Mm -hmm. That's what it smells like. It's not that it's going to burn my nose or anything, but it just smells like alcohol. Yep. Like, it's a little harsh on the palate. A little bit harsh. It has like a little drying, a dryness to it. Yeah, a little tannin. It kind of tastes like Nesquik. You ever like had the Nesquik powder? Yeah. Where you're like, I don't have any milk. I'm just going to take some in my mouth. Have you done that? Am I the only one? Yes, I have. That's what it kind of tastes like. You're just like, oh my gosh, I need some water after that. Yeah. A lot it of the moisture off my tongue. But I keep doing every video I do this. Yeah. I don't know what's <laughs> wrong with it. So I'm trying to grab for something. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that off the, off the rip there. I think my expectations were high, though. Yeah, I mean, that's single barrel, but barrel proof, foolproof product is usually some of the marquee stuff mm -hmm. in the market. Absolutely. This is very good for the price, but it's nothing like I'm gonna reach for on a normal day. Yeah. There's $50 bottles I prefer. I would this. agree with that 1,000%. Like I keep bringing it up, but rare breed I would prefer. Barrel proof and cheaper. Yeah, and that's it. Exactly. Would you go with um, another pick of this? Would you try it again? Because when I tried uh, Hidden Barn, I don't know if we've talked about that. We, we don't even have the bottle here anymore. Um, that was like a, a batch product, and as soon as I tried that, I hated it like so much that I would not go back for a second one. I'm always for trying stuff again. <coughs> I, I'm, I never want to just try something once, yeah. especially something that's a single barrel. You just feel like I'm done with it. Yeah. Especially as they grow as a distillery and create more products, I would definitely come back to it again. It's just not super sweet. It doesn't have a lot of the classic bourbon notes that I'm it looking for. It like I just. Not. It's kind of off. I get a lot of like on the nose. Now I'm coming back to it, like a lot of barrel spice that comes through. Yeah. Like a lot of oak in the background, and not in a good way though. Not like, man, that's been aged for a long time. Oak. I yep. think it says at least five years. All right, so we're back. Um, proof or not proof? Mashville online says seventy percent corn, twenty one percent winter rye, nine percent malted. That's two a, and six for barley. Very specific. Very specific. Um. I get that rye spice. Yeah. That's why I wanted to know. I was like, is this a high rye product? And yeah. I think 20% is probably, you can call it a high rye. I would, I would definitely call it a high rye. Um, I think like like people were asking for the weeded version of this, that would hit yeah. a little bit harder. Yeah. A little bit more of that sweetness, cut down on the spicy. You're getting the oak spice and the foolproof. That, that. And that explains the dryness as well, with the rye spice yeah. that comes through there. A lot of that tannin comes with the rye. I don't know. I guess my expectations were so high. We do have the weeded that was lended to me by my dad that we're going to um, put in a future video. So yep. keep your eye on that one for the channel. We're gonna figure out what's the best weeded product around the same 90 to 92 proof. 90 proof, yeah. Exception of one, but you'll see that in the video. I would like to try, I, I would like, I've heard from people that they like the 90 proof 
like small batch version of this better. Better than this. And I can see that. Which isn't usually the case. It's not the case usually at all. Yeah. I think maybe they should just do, they should batch it new full proof. Yeah. Or do just plain single barrels at like 100 proof or something. Doing both of it, it's just kind of putting a lot of names on a bottle to make it sound really good. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. I would say it's just mediocre. Yeah. Out of 50. It's just got some weird astringencies and it's missing a few of those marks that I'm looking for in daily drinkers, especially this proof. It's not really any better. No, it just kind of like, you know, like a chapstick, petroleum jelly, like chapstick kind of like mm -hmm. feel in my mouth. It's like sticky. I would not recommend going out and buying a bottle of this. If you find a pour of it, I would definitely say try it there. Yeah. Liquor bar, if, bar, whatever. If you like high rye products, I think it's a it's a yeah. good try. It has a little bit of chocolateiness to it, but it's more of like a dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's not like that super sweet, rich, like that dark would, chocolate that stuff we really that we like. like. Yeah. Um, definitely worth a, a try, but don't buy it yet, probably. Yeah, I would wait until it gets a little better, because, I mean, it's very new. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, this is the first month it's been released. Single barrel products are inherently different. Like, that's the point of it. They yep. are meant to be different. Yep, you guys might have a bottle of this, and you love it. Our next bottle of this, we might love it. Yeah. It could be worse. That's the only it's a risk. <laughs> yeah, it's a risk. Barrel. Yeah. And this was a store pick, so you kind of think, going into it, well, it's got to be better than the average, because they tried a couple and picked this one out. Yeah. Um, so out of 50. Yeah, you want to go first? I'm going to go with, I said 29. I was thinking 27. So we're about yeah, the same thing 29. there. It's, it's just not a huge fan. It's definitely not undrinkable. Like I could, yeah. we'll probably finish this bottle one day. But doubt it out. It's not gross. No. It's just not hitting those marks for me. And I'm just kind of missing something from that. 10, there's probably 10 bottles behind me that I would just grab for even before thinking about this yeah, one. Me like, too. I mean, Something that we know we like, mm -hmm. and I just like. I would share this with people. And Absolutely, like, give them a chance this to try. This is a great bottle <laughs> share. Like, yeah. Hey, try this out. It's not yeah. a bad product. It's pretty good. I just it's not my favorite. See if you guys, see other people like it. So. Agree. Try more of it. Don't try a bottle. Yeah. I think that's and where we're at. Green River, keep making stuff. Yeah. We're gonna keep, keep trying, trying it. Yeah. I'm super happy we got to try this one. Some of the first people maybe to try. Yeah. So. Absolutely. So thank you guys. Like and subscribe and check out our other videos. Our shorts are also. Mm -hmm. we're Posting shorts, we're trying to post shorts every day that we don't post a video, mm -hmm. so please check those out and keep the comments coming. Yeah, keep it coming. Let us know what you want to see. <clears throat> um, we're kind of thinking of some like competition yes. type video. We we're both really competitive people. We both like sports and things like that. So mm -hmm. if there's some type of game that we could do, compete, yeah. I don't know. Let us know what your opinion, thoughts are on that. Um, but yeah, we'll see you next time. I agree. Thank you, guys.